Good morning, Eric here. Uh, I believe it's the last day of March and uh, we're gonna do a seven minute drawing. I mentioned in my last video that a lot of my artist friends started this group on Facebook called Isolation Station and they have been posting seven minute drawings. Uh, it's a great thing to do if you're stuck at home like those of us in New York are. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, I shaved my beard. Uh, <laughs> I shaved my beard because I had to go out yesterday to a mandatory doctor's appointment. I'm part of a study and um, um, it was imperative in order to continue the study to go for some tests. Um, I'm fine, uh, nothing to worry about. But in any event, um, I shaved my beard and I went outside. And one of the things I did when I went outside, I hadn't been outside in about 10 days. And one of the things I did when I went outside, since I was outside already, was um, stop at the Green Market in Union Square, where my favorite bakery, Bread Alone, uh, had a little stand. And so I bought a few things from there. And um, never had this one before. It's like some sort of cinnamon swirl Danish. And I really want to eat it. <laughs> but I thought I would draw it before I do. So um, that's going to be something that's going on here. While I'm drawing, I'm going to be thinking about how delicious it's going to taste when I actually get around to eating it. Um, in any event, um, my attitude about drawing, about art making in general, is that um, we all have the capacity to do it. And uh, the important thing is to don't compare yourself to anybody else. Uh, don't tell yourself you're not good enough. Um, and accept the fact that your drawing is going to be different than my drawing. Um, because we're different people. You're going to bring to it who you are, your experience. And I'm going to bring to it who I am, my experience. I was a huge fan of this guy named Bob Ross. I don't know if you ever heard of him, but uh, the guy with a great big afro, and he would teach this kind of this painting class on Saturday afternoons on TV. And he was so calm and gentle, and he would say things like, um, "Okay, this is the way I paint my flowers." And, uh, you know, let's add some let's add some flowers over here. But your flowers are going to be different than my flowers. Just accept it, you know. That's the cool thing. So I got a little timer here. I'm going to set this to uh, half past the hour. And um, I'm going to spend seven minutes drawing this. So let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, there's a number of different ways you can start. Um, can start making a shape here. Uh, it's a really cool piece of uh, pottery. It's from uh, Bennington Potters in Bennington, Vermont. And um, so this, this time I'm gonna do a little outline here. I'm gonna do an outline of the coffee cup. Um, and it's got some espresso in there, which I would really like to be drinking right now, but instead I thought I would make a drawing <laughs> with you guys. So let's do the shape here of the coffee cup. You might not get it perfect, thing is, when you do a seven-minute drawing, um, you don't really have time to make everything about it perfect. I mean, it's going to be perfect in its own way because it's going to be a record of how we're spending these seven minutes. You know, and I'm going to erase a little things like this, but don't get caught up in doing too much erasing. Just accept the fact that it's not going to be perfect. But you know what it is going to be? It's going to be a perfect record of how you spent these seven minutes. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing. Um, I'm, I'm, I've been posting some pictures on my Instagram of some flowers around my house. And um, I've sort of made a point of not drawing those flowers because... Um, just kind of throwing those out there as ideas for, for other people to draw. Because, um, and I'm not suggesting you draw this from the video, though, if you can. Amazing. Um, but that kind of leads to comparison. And uh, when you spend too much time comparing things, I have a friend who likes to say, compare and despair. And 
you can probably guess it. The point of that is like if you spend too much time comparing yourself to others or your work to others, you're just going to, it can be easy to find fault. And um, what's the point of that? You know, we're not here to, we're not here to figure out what's wrong with your drawing. Uh, we're figure, we're here to figure out, you know, what's right with your drawing. Um, I sometimes give critiques to people. I say like, oh, well, why don't you try making your line a little less strong or making, making it a little stronger or making it weaker or this, that, or the other thing. And that's not, this is how you'll make it better. It's just like, oh, maybe you should try this. Um, that's constructive criticism. Um, I'm, I'm, it's really not my, my goal in life to tell people that they're wrong or they're bad or I, I'm much more interested in telling people, uh, when they're good and what's, what's interesting and what they, what's unique about them. Because, you know, the thing is, uh, I don't know if you ever sat in, in like a life drawing class or something like that, but one of the amazing things is. You know, you're sitting there with like 5, 10, 20 other people. You're all drawing the same thing, but they all end up looking different. And that's the really cool thing. It's, it's the Bob Ross thing. You know, you're going to make your your flowers and I'm going to make my flowers and they're all going to look different. That's just the way it's going to be. Okay, so we're about four minutes into this now. And what do we have going on here? Might be time to add some... Adding a little more shadow. Um, let's add some color. I use these watercolor pencils. Okay, it's primarily brown here. This cinnamon danish, which I'm going to eat as soon as we're done here. Yum. Um, okay, there's a lot of brown to it. There's a lot of kind of tan. Um, and then there's some shadows okay and that's the cup is this beautiful like turquoisey kind of hippie turquoise green color we love that um i kind of love anything hippie i always wanted to be a hippie but i was born a little bit too late to be one um how are we doing on time oh five minutes we've used up so far okay so we're getting close we've got two more minutes on a seven minute drawing and let's see what happens. And remember, it's not going to be a perfect drawing. It's going to be a record of how we spent these seven minutes. And that's cool in itself. You know what? It's like I used to do photographs all the time. And I would kind of despair. Nobody wanted to show my photographs. Nobody wanted to look at my photographs. And I, was, I would get all down in the dumps about it. But um, then it kind of hit me that one of the great things about photography or any kind of or drawing or any kind of record like this is that in the future, uh, people will get to look at it and go, oh, this is how somebody spent that quarantine time. All right? So let's see what happens here. It's going to be far from perfect, but let's see what we get. Okay, does it look anything like our cinnamon danish on our Bennington pottery plate? Oh, six minutes. We've got one minute left to finish this. Let's see what we do. Let's see what happens. Okay. And our Bennington pottery plate is kind of gray. All right. Our mug was kind of a oh, turquoise, like a deep turquoise. I don't know how you'd call that. Wow. Okay. Well, that's what we got. Let's see what happens. If I think we need to add a little darkness to it, add a little darker shadow. Okay. We've got a big, thick shadow happening under the Danish. Got a big, thick shadow happening under the cup. And the cup is kind of got some shadow going on there. Now, down in the bottom of the cup, it gets really dark there. Okay. Let's see what happens there. And back here behind. All right. Okay. Well, again, we're far from perfect. And we are very close to seven minutes. So let's see what we got here. Okay, I just want to finish this part and finish this part so it reads as a triangle. All right, it's dark in there. Okay, it's dark in there. We got a few, some more dark. All right, there we go. And there we go. And so 
some shadow here. Oh, how are we doing? It's time. It's seven minutes. This is our seven minute drawing. All right. We made a drawing in seven minutes of this scenario here. And this is what we came up with. Now I'd love to see you sit down, set something in front of you, spend seven minutes drawing it. If you want to send it to me, if you want, if you want to critique, if you want a little feedback on it, just ask. And you feel free to send it to me at supremehanson at gmail.com. All right. Thank you.